candy store. Let's go see what our letter is for today. I can't wait. Ready for Miss Lana. Oh, Miss Lana, I have a letter for you. Thank you, Pete. Pete, I thought you were moving. That's right. I am moving to Pittsburgh, but I haven't had a party yet. You can't move without a going away party. Well, what's holding back the party? It's all those choices. Are you going to have hot dogs or peanut butter sandwiches? Are you going to have milk or juice? Are you going to invite girls or no girls? You know, there's a lot of choices to be made. That's what our show's about today. What? Making right choices. That's right. Today our letter is Q, and Q is for queens. Today we're going to talk about two queens in the Bible. There was a good queen and a bad queen. And what made them good or bad is by the choices that they made. We need to learn to make good choices to have the good things in life. What were the queen's names? Well, one queen's name was Esther. Esther? No, not Easter, Esther, Esther. And the other queen's name was Jezebel. ring -a bell That's a funny name. No, not ring -a bell Jezebel. I think you need to choose to have your ears cleaned. And boys and girls, let's go to Rhyme and Simon now for today's scripture. What was those ladies' names again? Simon and I'm here today with a memory verse I want you to say. So yell it out and don't be shy. Go ahead, kids, give the word a try. Say Joshua 24, 15. Joshua 24, 15. Choose for yourself this day. Choose for yourself this day. Whom you will serve. Whom you will serve. Say Joshua 24, 15. Joshua 24, 15. Choose for yourself this day. Choose for yourself this day. Whom you will serve. Whom you will serve. That's good. Say Joshua 24, 15. Joshua 24, 15. Choose for yourself this day. Choose for yourself this day. Whom you will serve. Whom you will serve. Say Joshua 24, 15. Joshua 24, 15. Choose for yourself this day whom you will serve. Choose for yourself this day whom you will serve. That's good. I'm Brian and Simon, and yes, I heard you boys and girls speak the word. Oh, just play. I can't. Why not? Well, I've got all these cute little cards, and... I just can't decide which one to play. I just can't choose. Oh, it don't matter. Play any of them. <laughs> which ones? I just can't decide if it should be like this sunfish right here, or, or maybe this cute angel fish, <laughs> or maybe a shark, or, or a goldfish, or a swordfish. I just can't choose, Lefty. Oh, I'm going to choose. Choose what? I'm going to choose to punch your lights out if you don't play a card. Now play! Well, I can't choose! Play! I just can't choose! Play! I can't choose that play. Whoa, whoa, what is all the fuss? It's Lefty. No, it's not. It's Elmer. He can't choose which card to play. Oh, it's true, Nicodemus. I can't make a choice. It's too hard. Elmer, you got to learn to choose. I do? Yes, your life is made up of good choices. Just think about it. You choose in the morning whether you're going to brush your teeth or not. And with that, you choose if you're going to have gingivitis in later life or not. You choose to drink your milk or not. You choose to obey your parents or not. In fact, you can choose to go to a wonderful place called heaven or a bad place called hell by choosing to make Jesus your Lord and Savior. Boys and girls, if you've never done that, let's pray right now. And if you've never asked Jesus to come into your heart and you'd like to, pray this prayer with me. Say these words. Say, Heavenly Father. And the Heavenly Father, I believe, I believe Jesus died for me. Jesus died for me. And rose from the dead. And rose from the dead. And Jesus, and Jesus, I receive you. I receive you. Into my heart. Into my heart. Amen. Amen. Boy, that's the most important choice you can make. And if you pray that prayer with me, Jesus lives in your heart. Elmer, you got to think about it this way. Your life is what it is today because of the choices you made yesterday. Make good choices. 
You're right, Lady Demas. I do need the choosing. I need to make good choices. So here we go, Lefty. Rainbow trowel. Mm, go fish. Oh man, I need it. The letter Q. 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 Big Q. Little Q. Q. Yeah, she 
became dog food. She became dog food? Yeah, because she made bad choices. Because she made bad choices. Q is for queen. Q is for queen. And Esther was a queen that made good choices. Esther was a queen that made good choices. Yeah. Hey, that's a good story. We need to make good choices, yes, don't we? We do. The letter Q. Did you know you can choose to be a good little boy or girl or a bad little boy or girl? It's all up to the choices that you make. Now, the Bible says in Joshua 24, 15, choose you this day who you will serve. And you need to serve the Lord God because that's the most best choice that you could ever make. But you know something? There'll be voices that'll come to you to try to get you not to do that. Sometime you'll just be going along your normal day and your mom might say, Johnny, I want you to go clean up your room. And this voice will come to you. You don't have to clean up your room. Your mom is stupid. She doesn't know what she's telling you. Don't clean up your room. Why don't you disobey? You know what? That's a voice of that old snake, the devil. And there's one thing that that old snake, the devil, doesn't like. And it's God's word. Because God's word is like a hammer. And you can choose to use God's word against the devil. No, Mr. Devil, I choose to serve the Lord today. I'm going to serve God. And when you do that, it's like hitting that old devil with a hammer. Or maybe you're in line at school. You're in line for a drink of water. And some voice comes to you. Why don't you push that kid in front of you? And you're tempted real bad to push that little kid. You know what? That's the voice of that old snake again. And you know what to do when that voice comes against you? You get the hammer of God's word. No, I'm not going to do that. I choose to be good. I choose to obey. I'm not going to push in line. You know what, boys and girls? No matter what the devil tries to come and tell you, disobey your mom and dad. Do bad things. Learn to choose to use the hammer of God's word. Choose you this day who you will serve. And when you make the right choice, you'll have blessings in your life. Hi, boys and girls. We're so glad you're here. We've been waiting for you. We have a good story for you today, and the name of it is Don't Stop Short. Come on, Brindle, yelled Arliss. Run! The two bears were running across the meadow when all of a sudden, Brindle stopped and sat down. I'm tired, said Brindle. I'm going to rest right here. Arliss was angry. If we quit now, there won't be any fish left for us. The bears had been running for a long time toward the river where they heard there had been a huge school of fish sing. There are probably hundreds of fish, Brindle said. Yeah, and there are hundreds of animals who want to eat them, said Arliss. You can do what you want, but I'm going to get some fish before they're all gone. Arliss turned and ran toward the river. Brindle was very hungry and he wanted some fish. But his little paws were getting sore. He laid down on the soft grass. I can do whatever I want. I'll just rest for a minute. Brindle closed his eyes. Wake up, lazy! Arliss kicked Brindle in the side. Hey! Brindle woke with a start. I was having a dream all about the fish we're going to catch. There aren't any fish left, Arliss said. All the bears in the forest ate them, and you missed it. You've been asleep all afternoon. Did you get any fish, Brindle asked? I sure did. I ate four little ones and three big ones, and I'm stuffed. Did you bring me any? Brindle asked. Nope. You made your choice. But I didn't want to run anymore, Brindle cried. I didn't want to run either, Brindle, but I knew that if I stopped, I wouldn't get any fish. But I was so tired, the little bear sobbed. Brindle, you can't decide to quit just because you're tired, Arliss explained. You have to remember what's in front of you, all those fish. You're right, said Brindle. I shouldn't have quit. 
Now I've got sore feet and, and an empty tummy, too. Arliss helped his little brother up. Come on, I'll bet Mama Bear can do something about both. You know, boys and girls, Brindle made the wrong choice. Instead of fishing and, and getting his tummy full, he decided he was going to sleep. We make choices all the time. The Bible says in Joshua 24, 15, Choose yourself this day whom you will serve. Boys and girls, it pays to obey the word of God. Make the right choice. Boys and girls, that was a wonderful story. And I know what you need to do. After sitting so straight and still for so long, you need to exercise to stretch everybody up. Stand up. That's right. Here we go. We're going to exercise. One thing you won't see old Elmer doing is this. Hit it, Manny. Oh, no, we will not be doing that exercise. But some exercise we will be doing are these. Let's do today's number. You ready? With the fingers. One and two and three and four and five. Switch hands. One and two and three and four and five. That's real good. Today's letter is the letter Q. Let's make a Q. Get your hands by your shoulders. Here we go. And one and two and three and four and five. Switch a backwards Q. Here we go. And one and two and three and four and five. Let's do the offering exercise. Get your hand in your pocket. Here we go. In your pocket. In the play. In the pocket. In the play. In the pocket. In the Empty the other pocket. Here we go. In the pocket, in the plate, in the pocket, in the plate, in the pocket, in the plate. Let's do some skiing exercise. Here we go. Ready? Get your poles in your hands. And one, and two, and one, and two, one, and two, and one, and two. Oh my goodness. Let's praise God. Get your hands up in the air. Here we go. One, and two, one, and two, one, and two, one, and two, one, and two. We're almost out of breath. It's time for the fishing pole exercise. Here we go. Get your pole in hand and cast. Hook that fish and pull, pull, cast, hook him and fight, fight, cast, hook him and fight, fight, cast, hook him and fight, fight. Oh my goodness, I think we're all out of breath here. Whew. That must have been Big Daddy we had on the line. I'm tired. So 
Hey, boys and girls, I just stopped by to show Harry the number six. But I can't find him. But I'll find him. Harry, are you back there? Yeah, yeah, here I am, Lefty. Hey, what are you doing with all these carrots? Well, well I love to eat carrots. Yep, carrots are what I love. Well, what's so special about carrots? Well, uh, uh, carrots are vegetables. And, and vegetables are good for you. Well, everybody knows that. Uh, well, and, and, and carrots are orange, see? And orange is my favorite color. Well, that's good. Well, what else? And, well, most of all, carrots are delicious. Here, well, here, here, try one. Well, I don't know if I want to eat these carrots, but the first thing we ought to do, boys and girls, is count them. Let's count these bunches of carrots. Okay. There's one bunch, two bunch, three bunches, four bunches, five bunches, six bunches of carrots. Why don't you count them there, Harry? You want me to count them? Yeah. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six bunches of carrots, and that's today's number. Look here, Harry. That's today's number. The number six. The number six. The number six. 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 The number six. Can meet any problem. 
The zebra has stripes like no other animal. He's a unique creation of God, and so are we. The otter lives on both land and water. We live on the earth, but we are citizens of heaven. And the tiger reminds us of the stripes of Jesus. With his stripes, we were healed. Now this camel reminds us to tank up on God's word. The camel can store water, we can store the scriptures. Store them into your heart. And if you're going to be a monkey, don't monkey around doing wrong things. Imitate God. Imitate the life of Jesus. That's the good thing to do. Oh, and this polar bear tells us something too. He may look harmless, but he's very dangerous. That's why we should choose our friends carefully. This alligator reminds us that we have authority over the devil and all his power in the mighty name of Jesus. And the kangaroo tells us that God cares for us. The lion tells us that we've been made kings, kings in the earth through Jesus Christ. And the grizzly says, don't run from trouble, face it and beat it. Well, sister, if I was a girl, which I am not, you understand, and a queen, which I'm not that either, I would choose to be Esther rather than Jezebel. And why is that? Well, Esther ended up being blessed of the Lord, and her people were blessed too. But Jezebel was wicked, and in the end, had a horrible death. And do you know why Esther was blessed and Jezebel wasn't? Why? Because Esther made good choices, and because of that, she was blessed. How do you do that? Well, you can start when you're young. Even boys and girls can make choices, like obeying your mom and dad, eating all your vegetables, uh, standing straight in line, not pushing and shoving and hollering out. If you do these things, you'll make good choices. We've got a choice to make. What's that? Either in the show right now, or we can keep going and run out of videotape. He's right, boys and girls. It's time to go. Remember, today's number is the number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And today's letter is the letter Q. Q is for queens. And we learned about two queens today, and we've learned how to make the right choices. Make good choices, boys and girls. And we'll see you next time on... The Candy Store! Bye! Bye.